Hello everyone. So we will continue the topic usual ABAP class. We wrote the logic in the usual ABAP class method. Now we will also learn how to give the exception. We already declared one exception wrong input. We will see how to give in the code. I will go to source code button. Now I will write if psi sub rc not equal to zero, I will raise this particular exception. How to raise? I will simply write raise wrong underscore input. If you are passing a wrong input, this system variable will return the value other than zero and this particular exception will raise. We will handle this exception inside the program, but as of now, we just learned how to raise this particular exception. In the function module, you are doing the same to same thing. Now, I will just check the syntax and activate this particular class. Now, we will check the output of this particular method. I will run this particular class. This is the button or we can run with the help of F8. I will go for this execute, me execute method. My method name is display. Suppose firstly, I'm giving suppose some wrong input. I will go for execute. And you can see my exception is raised. Now, I will give some right input now. I will check in that table, but the right input I can pass. Okay, I will go for this order number three. I'll go for execute. And you can see these are the four output values of this particular input. So just we did the same to same thing which we are doing in the function module. But as of now, we learned with usual ABAP class method. Now, same process. We have to learn now how to call this method or how to call this usual ABAP class method inside a program. Because whenever you are creating the function modules, you are always calling the function modules inside the program. Now we will learn how to call this usual ABAP class method inside a program. Or I will say global usual ABAP class method how we can use or in a program. So I will go to SC38 transaction code. I will give some name to the program. Suppose this is my first program. I'll click on create button. Every program requires a title. So I will give suppose sales order display. I will take that type as executable program sales. I will save this program as local object. And I am activating the program. Now we all know if I want to take a input to the program, I can take with the help of parameters or select option. I am 
only passing a single sales document number. So I will take a parameter. Parameters is the keyword. I will give some name to the parameter type. The data element for sales document number. I simply copy from the table. I check the syntax and activate the program. I will give the selection text. So I'll go for go to text element selection text. I will give sales document number. I'm activating this particular think now if i'm running the program you can see my input is ready now we will learn how to call that method usual abap class method inside this particular program we'll firstly see our method now, if you see, our method is a instance method. And we already learned whenever you want to call a instance method, it's always, always called with the help of object. So firstly, we will see how we can go for object. So firstly, I will declare the object suppose my name of the object is hello underscore object type ref to whenever you are declaring a object you have to use the keyword type ref to now what is my class name this is my class name which i created so this object is referring to this particular class. So this is the way how we can declare a particular object. Now, now we will see how to call this particular method. Same way you are calling the function modules with pattern button. Same way we will call the class method also with pattern button. I'll go to pattern. Now you will choose the radio button ABAP object patterns. I will go for OK. Now, these are the various things which we have to pass. Now, now first thing instance now what is our instance in this case if you remember what is the definition of object a object is an instance of the class now if you see in this program what the name of the object we gave hello underscore object now what is the name of our class which we created this is the name of our class. Now, just go for F for help and you can see method display of this class automatically came. Now, how we do this, how we did this, what is our object? What is our instance name? Hello underscore object. What is our class name and what is our method name? As it is a instance method, we are calling with the help of object. Now I will go for OK. Now you can see same to same thing which you are always observing in the function module. Import converted to export, export converted to import. If you remember in our class method there is one importing 
now we have one exporting we have four exporting parameters in the class now here we have four importing parameters in the class and these are the exceptions exception which we gave in the class method so that's it in this particular video we will continue this part in the next video thank you